Hello, my name is Kjartan Ross. I'm the business development manager at the Propeller and Afship headquarters of MAN Diesel and Turbo in Frederikshavn, Denmark. We made a presentation at the SMM 2016 show in Hamburg and we have had uh, several requests of having this presentation made uh, available for the internet, so this is why we are making this recording today. Today we are going to be talking about optimal propulsion for wind hybrids. And uh, before we start, we would also like to thank the International Wind Ship Association for inviting us to their conference at the SMM. Uh, special thanks because when people uh, think of MAN Diesel and Turbo, it's very often what you see in this picture that you think about. We are known for a lot of engines, but actually uh, now more than ever, our product portfolio is moving away from just being engines, but to being complete propulsion systems, including propellers, shaft line, gearboxes, remote control systems, and also the entire after-treatment system and fuel supply system for our engines. When we are talking about wind hybrids, this is actually not a new thing for MA and diesel and turbo. These three beautiful vessels represent some of the most uh, fantastic uh, wind ships that we have also supplied, complete propulsion drivetrains including engine shaft line propeller for during many years back and up to now. When we are talking about wind hybrids, there are a lot of additional things compared to a normal uh, ship being built that we should look into. Things like, of course, the engine size and type, the fuel type, if there should be special gearbox solutions in the shaft line, and of course also the propeller and remote control system. It's very often when you build a new vessel that you would start looking at the engine being a very important component for a vessel. But actually it is, especially when talking about wind hybrids, uh, the right approach to start looking at the propeller. When talking uh, propellers from MAN Diesel and Turbo and in combination with wind hybrid vessels, we would suggest a controllable pitch propeller. And for this we have our MAN Alpha VBS Mark V propeller, which you see in the picture here. These propellers uh, have a lot of uh, features which has been improved during more than 100 years of controllable pitch propeller manufacturing and development. And uh, these propellers are among the most efficient hub designs that is available on the market today. Our controllable pitch propellers fulfill the full range of, of our engine portfolio, covering from the smallest medium high speed engines and up to the largest of our two stroke engines. A special feature for wind hybrids is though that the propeller blades should be capable of having what we call full feathering which means that the propeller blade should be able to move in a 90 degree angle, meaning that they will be directed in the, the sail direction of the vessel, as you see in the picture. In real life, it looks like this. This particular propeller is, however, from a twin screw robot vessel, where it also uh, was required that the vessel should be able to operate with only one shaft line at the time. So, all in all, this is also a well-proven technology that we have supplied uh, during several years. When we are talking about vessels with uh, wind hybrid propulsion, we are of course looking at vessels that should have a very high efficiency, meaning also a very low fuel consumption. Therefore, it would also make good sense to apply the best efficient propeller design to the propeller. From MAN Diesel and Turbo, this is the MAN Alpha Capro propeller design, which is high efficient 3D designed propeller design, which is 
characterized by the swept propeller tip, which increases the efficiency of the propeller blades. Furthermore, it could also be an idea to apply various uh, energy efficiency devices, such as the rudder bulb and fairing cone, where we can see from a previous installation on the pictures here. The idea of the fairing cone and rudder bulb is to create a very smooth flow from the propeller over the rudder with no flow separation. There are many rudder bulbs in the market, but the real secret of uh, getting a high efficiency is combining with the fairing cone with its, the extension of the propeller hub you see. From uh, third-party tank tests, uh, we have seen results of efficiency gains of between 2 and more than 5% from this applying this uh, rudder bulb and fairing cone. One of the special demands from a vessel with wind hybrid propulsion is also the control system of the traditional propulsion plant. The control system has to be able to work together with uh, the wind hybrid or the wind propulsion system. Our MAN Alpha AT3000 or Alphatronic 3000 remote control system which was introduced actually during SMM in 2012, has the optional feature called a MAN Echo Speed Pilot, which is exactly uh, what you need for a wind hybrid propulsion system. What the MAN Alpha Echo Speed Pilot does is that it will add on the required thrust that is not created by the wind uh, propulsion system. As you can see in the graph, you have the green area, which is the thrust generated by the wind thrust, uh, wind propulsion system. Uh, this could be either with uh, Flentner type rotors, sails, or a kite, whatever system. And the red area, which is what the propeller and engine will supply of thrust. Now what the MAN Alpha Echo Speed Pilot does is simply that it constantly measures what thrust is required to stay on a certain speed which is defined by the captain on board. In reality this means that if a vessel is, uh, needs to go say 12 knots to reach its destination at a given time, the captain will enter a desired speed of 12 knots on the bridge and the remote control system will simply add on the thrust required to keep the 12 knots at all times regardless of what the wind propulsion system generates of, of thrust. Looking further up the propulsion drivetrain is the uh, could be a gearbox or a PTO uh, solution where you have the possibility to take out power from the main engine. Uh, there are various ways of designing a, a um, propulsion drivetrain with wind hybrid propulsion. You could have a desire in that regardless of the thrust generated by the wind propulsion, you need or require the vessel to be able to go at a certain speed. However, when the wind propulsion system contributes to the, uh, the speed of the vessel, you will have excess power on your traditional propulsion drivetrain. This excess power can be used in a, a power takeoff solution with a shaft generator to create electricity uh, to drive the, uh, the consumers, electrical consumers on board the vessel. This is a good solution because as a, a rule of thumb, the main engine will have a higher efficiency compared to the smaller uh, auxiliary engines uh, for producing electricity. You could also choose to make a power take-in solution and have perhaps a smaller main engine. This uh, would enable you to 
at most times have a, a full operation flexibility in the speed range of your vessel. But in case that there is very little contribution from the wind propulsion system, you can boost your uh, traditional propulsion drivetrain via uh, the uh, auxiliary engines and uh, an electrical booster to your, your shaft line. So there can be many ways to uh, construct your propulsion drivetrain, which we will of course at MAN Diesel & Turbo be happy to look into together with you. Finally, there is of course also the uh, engine. All our engines, both our four-stroke and two-stroke engines, are available for wind hybrid propulsion systems. There can be various uh, ups and downs uh, with uh, the various setups uh, you can choose for a propulsion drivetrain, and uh, depending on, on the the operation profile and perhaps also the operation area that the vessel will be, be working in. If you look at the first choice, which was a, a fairly larger engine, you will have a, 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 a high initial cost compared to purchasing a smaller engine, but on the other end you could have a lower um, operational cost due to a lower specific fuel oil consumption and also that in situations where the wind propulsion system contributes uh, to the propulsion, you can also use a, a PTO to generate power and therefore have less operation hours on your auxiliary engines. On the other hand, if you choose a uh, installation with a smaller engine, well, you will have a, a lower initial cost when building the vessel, but you may, in the event that there is little or no contribution from the wind propulsion system, have uh, to boost your system with electricity from your auxiliary engine, which is a more uh, fuel-consuming way to operate your vessel. However, of course, if the vessel is being operated in areas where there's always a lot of contribution uh, from the wind propulsion system, then this might be the right choice for your vessel. Finally, uh, and this is also a solution that we uh, look into because there are many who think of uh, these modern or hybrid vessels uh, with uh, diesel-electric propulsion. From MA and Diesel and Tubo, we believe that the main area where you will benefit the most from wind hybrid propulsion is for merchant vessels having longer uh, stretches and ocean passages in their operation. Uh, this is where the contribution from the wind propulsion system really will kick in and give a high fuel oil saving. However, we also acknowledge that the, the diesel electric propulsion system does offer a lot of flexibility. However, we believe that this can also be obtained by, for instance, having two smaller engines on a twin-in single-out gearbox system where you can have uh, what we call a father-son uh, engine set up with uh, one uh, engine being a bit larger than the other and thereby also have a really flexible uh, propulsion drivetrain. The downside of course is that uh, the initial costs for the engine and gearbox are a little bit higher but on the upside you will have a very flexible propulsion system that you can optimize to almost any given situation and thereby have a very efficient operation of the vessel. All the engines uh, is of course uh, to be found in our engine, marine engine program and uh, all our engines can also be supplied in order to fulfill the tier 3 regulations. So all in all, MAN Diesel and Turbo can supply the complete propulsion drivetrain from the fuel inlet to the engine shaft line with gearbox, propellers, efficiency devices, and of course also the after treatment for tier three regulations. We are ready for wind hybrid propulsions, and we thank you for listening and hope to hear from you soon. Have a nice day.